welcome back to the Quantum Truth, Sherry Anshara Unleashed. So today, we're going to talk about the left computer brain and how it always throws us off track. So Sherry, what is the difference between the left and the right brain, and why is the left the computer side of it? The, because they told you that that's where all your intelligence and intellect is stored. <gasps> Ooh, so I'm going to give you a brief. Uh, years ago, I had an accident, and I had, a, you know, I died. It was wonderful. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and my he head was smashed. My brain was out of place. But oh, I was geez. actually I was actually studied at the University of Arizona. Huh. And for a week, I was a lab rat. And this is when it was so perfect. And they said, oh, you're a genius. And I hmm. said, I know. And you guys are dumb because <laughs> my brain's out of place. <laughs> because what I learned through that process was how to connect the left brain, right brain. Hmm. So the left brain is that duality brain computer that takes in all the programming that you're not good enough you're not smart enough you can't do it it's all the words of no mm. you can't and so this left brain and it works that way you know it, it goes to the right side of the body which is male this is not gender folks it doesn't have anything to do with gender sexuality or whatever you call it now or dysmorphic so so we recreate and so I called this there was a famous actress I can't say her name her name was Elizabeth Taylor but she married the same <laughs> man eight times huh. all the profiles they were all alcoholic and drug addicts I did research same yeah and so and four of her best friends were gay they were all well. the same and so we set up through this left computer brain profiles in our own behaviors so then we become that role. So the role is, Cassidy, you're going to do this. You're going to be this. And it's very narrow banded. Mm. And so we get really contained. And so the real brain, honestly, even studied by science, is your heart. Mm. And your heart connected to your intuition. Your intuition is not a woo-woo. It's not metaphysical. Your intuition is your natural innate ability to discern. So it's called feeling. Now, I see in white papers I've read, psychiatrists, psychologists, that they keep interchanging. They even have a thing now called emotional intelligence. I'm going to pound on the table. There is not one ounce, not one ounce, not one little speck, not one little molecule, particle, or cell to the quantum level of you that there is any intelligence in emotions that runs the left computer brain. So what's the difference between emotions and feelings, right? So you're saying your heart feels, and that's what you should listen to. However, emotions are not intelligent. Can you go into that a little bit? Yeah, emotions are what screw us up. Emotions are why there's always fights and wars, but it starts inside of us, and then we create the outside. Mm. So here, here is, uh, here's an emotional. Cassidy, I just love you, but... Mm -hmm. If you do this, right, if you do that, it's totally conditional. But in your heart and feeling, it's unconditional acceptance. Right. And when you unconditionally accept someone, that makes a complete shift in the resonance. Hmm. And that supports you to be who you are. And it also supports you then to make choices. Hmm. So the left brain is based on emotional, stupid not judging, <laughs> decisions. And decisions are emotional. And they're called, oops, I did it again, <laughs> and again, and again, and again. But when you, and, and then you're stuck. Oh my God, I'm stuck in this situation. I'm stuck in this job. I'm stuck in this relationship. I'm stuck in this marriage. I'm stuck, 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 stuck. Well, in the left computer brain, you're stuck in the back mm. and the past. Right. Because your brain does not know what time it is. Well, something I recently read is that if we're, we're focusing on the past, that's our memory. And if we're focusing on the future, that's actually our imagination. But it's actually better to be present, no? Yes, in the moment. Right, and in the so moment. And so what happens in the past in your left brain and something triggers you? Mm -hmm. And so we go back. Ever been to a reunion, mm -hmm. a class reunion? Have you ever been to a wedding or a funeral and people get in fights? Yeah. And you know why? Because they're stuck in the past. Yeah. And so their their brain doesn't know what time it is. And by the way, time is, is spells tie 
me. Mm-hmm. Tie me. Do you know, and I'm going to throw this in here because this is about right brain is why we create. Right. So the right brain goes uh, to the left side of the body, which is female. That has nothing to do with gender. Remember, mm-hmm. it's never about gender. It's about how we create. And so the right brain goes to the left side, we create. And so when we're creating something and we manifest it, that's wonderful. You talked about the law of attraction. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to bring this up here about left brain, right brain. I actually have charts that I created to teach people how to be God. Hmm. Oh, no. I call it Godness, <laughs> the essence of God, because you're all Godness. You're all God. And this is how it works. You create whatever it is. Do you know that you create everything? You create an experience, a relationship, a situation, an event, even a fart. <laughs> and you say, what? What? And you can, in every moment, you cannot not create. The difference is being a conscious creator. So how do you create a fart? You say, I'm going to eat this. It's going to give me gas. So there you have it. <laughs> it's that simple. So, it's simple. So how do we become a – I really want to hit on that note is how do you become a conscious creator than somebody who's just creating and not knowing? Okay, that when you're creating not knowing, that's duality, and people say they're stuck, or it didn't huh. turn out the way it is, or you thought, you thinky-thinky, and see, emotions are thinky-thinky, mm. but feeling is in your heart, it's the truth, it's the intuition, which is your natural innate ability to discern, and then you make choices, not an emotional decision, but a choice, and then when you make an emotional choice, you can change it, you're not stuck. Now, when, when somebody says they have that gut feeling, right, is that a part of the left computer brain or is that part of the heart or is it a separate entity altogether? It's the heart and the solar plexus. I call that the feeling center. Interesting. And I okay. trust my feeling center, my heart. And so so my heart is my real brain and my intuition is my guide. You know, you people out there that have huh. guides is my real huh. guide. And I follow that. And you know what? It works every time instead of getting worked over by that left computer brain that doubts, that tells you you're stupid. And by the way, those voices in your head aren't uh, aren't necessarily yours. It's somebody else's voice that's stuck in there. Yeah. So if I hear somebody else's voice in my head, I tell them to get the frick out. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do with stuck in my left computer so, brain? So I had a similar experience uh, a little briefly. It, it was uh, I'm not going to go too much in de- detail, but they wanted me to leave the studio, right? And I'm like, why? Why? I came here for a reason and to speak this truth, and I have this bigger purpose. And they try to get me out through fear, and they try to get me out through darkness, and they were like, you have to leave because of this. Little did I find. I did a whole bunch of research and, and did a third party study. I was like, this is this is there's no truth to this. So I'm glad I stayed. But the person at that time, they're trying to push me out through that fear, trying to tap into that left brain and be like, look, these are the reasons why you should leave. These are the reasons why it's gonna fall. This is the reason you're gonna fail. And something and when somebody comes at me that way, I reflect it. I, I can't because I've learned every time I cater to that, it you're pulling down the path that they want you to go. So how can somebody realize they're being attacked through their left co- computer brain, and how do they get? Can they have the willpower to basically ignore it? Well, fear. Just get this: if I hear one person tell me fear is false evidence appearing real, I'm going to smack them over the head. Really, <laughs> fear is lack of correct information, huh. and you got correct information. Yeah, you did the research. I did. Instead of uh, instead of hearing through your left computer brain's ears, instead of hearing. You listened to yourself. I you did. trusted. You trusted your heart. You trusted your intuition. You did the research. Fear is lack of correct information. Again, if I hear anybody say from the metaphysical side that fear is uh, false evidence appearing real, unless you're framing someone for a murder, you know, and you're on investigative discovery, that is stupid. So I commend you and congratulate you because the left brain is, is just a bunch of baloney. But when you connect the left brain to right brain, now we're talking Hmm. because through your female, you create through your right brain, which is your computer, the you organize, organize, organize through your body, your body, you implement through your left brain. Now you manifest (gasps) and through your heart, you actualize 
That's the name of Yahweh, the four Hebrew Yahweh. letters. Well, we'll get into yeah. that. So yeah. don't go into that. Bob, we're gonna, that's so I'm going to cut you off right now because we want to go into that. <laughs> I definitely do. That's, that's going to be one of my Stay favorite tuned. ones. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. So again, this is the Quantum Truth, Sherry Anshara Unleashed. Go to www.sherryanshara.com for more information. Thanks for joining us.